Hey everybody, it's meal prep day here in my kitchen and usually what I do, it's an all day thing and I prep my breakfast, lunch, dinner and even a couple of snacks and I get them all packed and ready. But today I'm just going to show you what I do for breakfast. The first thing I want you to do to make for a successful weight loss plan is to go through and pick just two breakfast recipes that you love and you can deal with and you can eat for at least a couple of weeks. I want you to get into a routine of eating healthier foods instead of just something different every day. Let's get into a routine first. First meal I wanna make for breakfast is something that's easy to go and it's with eggs. So first thing you need are some just fresh eggs and I have cheese, I have the low fat cheese, I have some tomatoes, spinach, and I also have, in this time I'm going to maybe even use a little bit of broccoli this morning. But the first thing I want to do is just, I have a dozen eggs, so I'm going to crack those in here. Okay, I've cracked my eggs, all 12 eggs are here in my favorite bowl. And then I will set that aside. Now, I don't really like onions, but I love the taste, it's just a little bit too strong for me, so I like to pick shallots. Another thing I want to do ahead of time is to prepare the tomatoes. I'm just using little grape tomatoes, the small cherry tomatoes, and I'm just going to cut them in half. Now we just need to layer the eggs in with all of these great ingredients. And the first thing I want to start with is a little bit of spinach on the bottom. We put the spinach down first. Now let's just add a few tomatoes. We've got a few ingredients in those cupcake tins. Now let's add the egg. That looks really good. We'll just top it off with a few shallots, a little bit of cheese. Now you could use other ingredients. Maybe you'd rather have ham. Make sure you use low fat ingredients whenever possible. And I'm just gonna put one little piece of broccoli in each one of these. One little tip about using broccoli anytime you put it in a recipe, I cooked this just a little bit. That's called blanching. So it's a little bit soft before I even put it in with the eggs. All right, now it's time to pop them in the oven. Ooh, these look perfect. Okay, so you need to let them cool for a little bit, but once they cool, you can pop them right out of these cupcake pans pretty quickly. Two of them will be about 250 calories, just the right amount that you need for your breakfast. What I like to do is once they cool, I will put two of them in a Ziploc bag. I'll pop a few of them in the fridge and a few of them in the freezer. That way, they're ready to go. And that's what's for breakfast. Mm -hmm.